BNSF recently delivered a rather unique commodity using specialized equipment rarely seen operating on the railroad. In this edition of BNSF Video News, we'll take a look at a special BNSF train that moved a 1.25 million pound reactor vessel on the world's longest rail car, a Schnabel car, from Chicago across Illinois and Missouri to El Dorado, Kansas. For rail fans, this high-wide move was a special treat and unique photo opportunity. For BNSF, the movement of this 625-ton, 130-foot-long gas refinery vessel presented a transportation opportunity that would test BNSF capabilities in many different ways. When it comes to dimensional shipments, there's, there's not a lot that we, we can't do. We don't like to, to say no, we just like to give everybody a, a conditional yes, I guess. And so there's a lot of opportunity to move big dimensional freight that, that otherwise uh, customers don't have the opportunity to. And so we're going to give it our best shot. BNSF took aim at this refinery vessel move two years ago. The upfront work was characterized by meticulous planning, communication, and research to create both a transportation plan and identify the right equipment. The equipment to hold the, the piece, it's a, it's, a, it's a very specialized rail car, what they call a schnabel car. It's a, it's a giant vice grip that when you rest the piece down inside of it, uh, it basically collapses around the piece that you're moving. Besides the equipment, it took an extreme amount of collaboration within BNSF. Moving this load on this Schnabel car presented many challenges. To begin with, the route had to be determined, and operations had to consider other rail traffic along that route. The impact of any 15 mile an hour train on our system is going to be significant. We spent a lot of time planning to ensure that the, we had minimal exposure to hurting the transit of our other trains. Next, the clearance group surveyed every step of the way to determine potential obstructions. In some cases, engineering employees would have to temporarily move signals and other fixtures to clear the way for the train. My impression when I thought it was the, for the first time, it was like moving a dirigible through a water hose. It was quite a big task. In addition to its tremendous size, the Schnabel car has unique operating capabilities. The crew can raise and lower the load and move it from side to side to avoid railroad assists that might be in the way. All of the decisions to either remove obstacles or move the car to avoid obstacles were planned in advance, step by step. While planning the move took up to two years, the actual journey across BNSF from Chicago to El Dorado lasted seven days. The BNSF team involved in the move attributes the successful and safe delivery of the special cargo to the combined effort. Communication was definitely the key with this. I think that this company can, can really excel in projects that involve a lot of teamwork and a lot of communication. Here are some interesting facts. The Schnabel car used for the El Dorado move is the world's longest single rail car, 351 feet long. And the car is equipped with 36 axles, capable of distributing a total weight of 890 tons. The last time BNSF used this car was in 2005 to move a reactor from Houston to Denver. Well, that's it for this edition. Thank you for watching.